I'm fed up with people eating junk and using the excuse that they're too busy to cook. So every week, I'm going to prove how little time you need to create a delicious, healthy meal. This week, six rapid response nurses on a hectic 10-hour night shift, for them, being fast is critical, but their diet is seriously slowing them down. If we could learn to cook something quick, easy, something healthy and nutritious... Boost his energy levels. Yeah, to give so. the right boost, we would yeah. be supersonic nurses. Oh, yeah. Not, just not just stopping us. <laughs> no stopping us. Right, Gordon. Hi. How long has that been around? I mean, it's older than Fanny Craddock. We've never yeah, used it. No, we don't. We've got <laughs> Oh, my God. Like... So, freezer jam-packed. Yeah. Yeah, it was shit. How do you manage? How do you get through your day? We've got to garage. Got to garage, microchips, micro-junk. You're being too much like women. Oh. You're caring for everybody by right, yourselves. Yeah. Challenge. You go down to the garage. Yeah. Right. Buy one portion of your frozen food. Yeah. yeah. Come back, cook it. Yeah. OK. And by the time you've cooked it and put it on the plate, I would have had six portions of something simple, fast, delicious, with these two girls <laughs> doing it. OK? Are you ready? Exactly. Yeah? You're going to jump in your car. Are you ready? Don't speak. Am I ready? Trust me. <laughs> I was born ready. <laughs> yeah? The nurses spend 25 minutes every night buying shit food from their local garage. I am convinced I can teach them to cook something much tastier. Sticky lemon chicken served with champ and green beans. We leave the skin on because we're going to get some colour on the chicken. That means yeah. colour, means yeah. flavour. Time. Fresh time. Potatoes ready? Time. How are we doing for time? <laughs> for two ladies that are rapid response nurses, there's nothing rapid about your cooking. Do you mind just taking my pulse? I've been in here now eight minutes and you're driving around the yeah. fucking bend. Yeah. It's bloody impressive, is that? So it's not oh, high? Yeah. It's good? No, it's great. It's 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, where do you think Madam is now? I think she's on the way back. Cream and milk up to the boil. Yeah. And start stirring. There you go, good. Oh, oh she's here, she's here. Hello. Joanne, Joanne, Joanne. Oh, shit, Hello. that was quick, right. What is that? <laughs> Chili, beef and cheese, burrito. Two minutes. I'm going to uh, speed up a little bit now, yeah? Madam's in the microwave already. I don't want to hear that fucking bing. A little bit of pepper on there. Come oh, on, Come on. I know you can't keep away from me, but don't sound me when I'm cooking. <laughs> Bing's out. Come on, I'm not going to be beaten by a fucking microwave. Look, on there like that. OK, right, mashed potatoes on there. You've got to turn it on nicely now, look, when you put it on. Oh. Joanne, your beans. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Right, place the beans around the outside. Put the pan down. How long, please, Mrs. Microwave? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Sticky chicken with lemon and green beans. Well, hey. Finished. Oh. <laughs> Bing. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. Show me, show me the evidence on the plate, please. Oh. oh Let's see. No. It's like you've just changed the fucking baby's fucking oh. nappy. <laughs> yeah, I've got too much respect for your fucking job for you to sit and eat that. <laughs> fucking no chance. <laughs> Sorry, no chance. <laughs> Fast food, yeah. It doesn't need to be complicated, you know that. Ah, chicken, local supermarket, a little bit of honey. Promise me something. No. Yeah. We're going to do this again. Yeah, You're going to cook, cook it again. Let me tell you. I'll help you to cook, but I'm not staying through the whole fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> I've run eight marathons, 26 long, hard miles each. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that eating right is just as important as the training. So you'd think that two super fast athletes training for the Olympics would be eating a varied diet in between training. But they're not. And their excuse is they say they've got no time. We train in the morning for three or four hours, you know, maybe have half an hour for lunch, um, and then back again train in the afternoon. So it's, uh, and that's six days a week, so it's a busy schedule. Lunchtime's a struggle because it's on the rush, it's on the go, and uh, it is just food for fuel. There's nothing interesting about it at all. All I eat is just a ready made pasta pot. It's literally just. Pasta mixed with a bit of chicken, a bit of sauce. Just because we're training for the Olympics, we don't need anything special in particular. We just need to eat good amounts of the right stuff. I want to learn how to cook something nice, quick, tasty, and I want to be able to impress my girlfriend that I can actually cook. So I've come to meet best mates Chris and Andy to help them be as fast in the kitchen as they are on the track. Lightning. 
That looked bloody fast, yeah? Um, how many times a day do you train? Twice a day. Twice a day. Twice a day. Five days a week? Six days a week. Six days a week. I mean, that's extraordinary for one goal, an yeah. Olympic gold. That's yeah, the old right. It's the Olympics, though, isn't it? Yeah. Who's the fastest? Well, he won't deny it, it's me. <laughs> His personal best is better, but the last time we raced, Live TV. Yeah, you're gonna hit out. I took him out. I took him out. I took him out. Would you do me a favour? I will. Take me out. I'll, I'll, I'll see, see just how fast you are. Yeah. Hey, you sure? 15 stone. <laughs> nice 40 years of age. Yeah. <laughs> so go easy on the old man. Yes. I would. Good luck. Let's go. Yeah, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. shit. I felt like fucking Shrek going over there, you know that? <laughs> I'll try the sprinting, you know that? Sprinting's better. So it's all in the posture? Posture. Yeah? Yeah. Sprinting's back. So, go! Up to all. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say I've been too champions. Why is that? Don't fuck around. Come on, go. Don't fuck around. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just getting excited. <laughs> on your marts. Go! <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm fucked. <laughs> now, you just confirmed you're fast on the track. I'm going to show you how to be fast in the kitchen. Ready? Right. When you caught your breath. When I caught my breath, <laughs> yeah. Right, time-wise lunch, you've got, what, half an hour? Half an hour, Tom. Yeah. Max, yeah? Run me through a normal lunch. What did you have yesterday? Pasta pot. And that's it? That's it. A pasta pot. That's a pasta pot. I mean, it looks boring. It is boring. Yes. It so is you boring. must be <laughs> bored with it by now, no? Gordon, I am fed up with it. Pasta doesn't have to be boring, you know that. So I'm going to come up with three very exciting pasta dishes. We're going to be fast, furious, and delicious. First recipe, spaghetti, yeah. wine tomato sauce, basil, chili, and finish with prawns. Pasta is the ultimate fast food, and something I eat when I'm training for the marathon. How do you find that, Gordon? How do you find the marathon? Yeah, no, it's tough. Yeah, very tough. There she goes. So, in the time it takes to cook that spaghetti, this sauce is ready. Yeah. It is chilly now. Andy, yeah. a little tip. Just give it a roll like that. Right. This releases the seeds so you can discard them easily. Andy, basil in, please. I mean, you yeah. guys eat well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to follow a strict diet, do you? No, everything in moderation. That's what, you know, that's what yeah. it's about. See, that's the perfect kind of food that, that we need. Right, recipe two, even faster, yeah? Continue pasta, pancetta, leeks, and mushrooms. And if you can't get hold of pancetta, smoke bacon is absolutely fine. Chop the leeks finely and add to the bacon. I mean, the ultimate goal is um, a gold medal in Beijing. Yeah. Yeah. Or London. London would be better. Or win one in Beijing and defend it in London. I mean, the chance yeah, of defending yeah, yeah. it in your hometown. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, your, your own country ho hosting the Olympics. After three minutes, add some creme fraiche, which lightens the dish. That's fast, isn't it? Add some grated parmesan and finish with chopped parsley. That's the kind of time scale that, that we're working on, so yeah. that's perfect. Recipe three. This one's with panic. Chicken, goat cheese, pine nuts, and runner beans. Good. Runner beans in. Garlic. Pine nuts in. OK, rosemary on there, please, Chris. Take the ingredients out the pan and prepare the chicken. Chicken breast, I'm going to butterfly it, OK? That's to keep the knife nice and flat and just open it up. Cutting the chicken this way leaves the breast thinner and therefore it cooks quicker. Wow, oh, that, looks, that looks that looks beautiful. That's a really so, nice dry ghost cheese. And at work we keep them in the freezer. And perfect for finishing pasta. It's a great tip because they never go off. We all think that builders are lazy ass slackers who are always on a tea break. So when I heard there were three builders from Essex that were constantly whinging the fact that they never had chance to eat properly or cook for themselves, I had to meet them. These boys rip out and replace kitchens across Essex, and they reckon this leaves them no time to cook or eat properly. Yeah, I'm fed up eating the same thing every day. It's just uh, pork pies, uh, chocolate bars, crisps. You just really don't get the time to go out there and get something to eat on a proper basis. It's always a case, the nearest location where you're working, that's where you're going to go and eat. would love Gordon to help us uh, create something, ideally within half an hour, to keep us on fire throughout the day. Everyone's got time to cook if they've got the right recipes. And I mean everyone. Essex builders. Now, they're probably having a fucking bacon sandwich or set on their ass. 
Gentlemen, good morning. How are we? Tony. Tony, good to see you, big boy. You well? Michael, no, I'm Harry. Harry, nice to see you. All right, mate, Gary. Gary, how are you, big boy? Good. Bye, mate, yeah. So why have you got a reputation of being such lazy fuckers? Uh, not us. <laughs> Definitely not the site. No way. So, We're dealing with people's homes. This is not some, you know, no. building site where uh, if you are sitting on your ass in a port cabin or something, uh -huh. you can get away with it. Right. How long would it really seriously take to, to, to rip the kitchen out? Without any tea breaks What's or bacon butty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, straight yeah. rip. rip. Yeah. About an hour maximum. I'd like to see how difficult it is ripping out a kitchen. I'd good. like to become a proper builder. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to become a proper chef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, not with fucking bling bling like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like to bling alone, oh, mate. Yeah. Jesus Christ, there's I'm, more gold I'm, than that. There is sorry, fucking sorry, carriages. Yeah. 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 The one. Oh, this plate, mate. Can you get my hammer four out of that box first, please, mate? Hammer four? Yeah. Fuck, mate. What is a hammer four? It's not... banging nails in. <laughs> 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 what tattoo have we got on there? What is it? The tattoo? PG tips? Yeah. Too bad. Too bad. We're not just doing this because I'm here today, are we? No, no joking. Every single day, day of the week. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. You're fucking grafters. Mm. You work your ass off, yet you're fucking abusing yourselves. I'm going to show you my tool now. My tool is a powerful gas stove in the builder's tent. There's still half an hour demolishing left to do, so I'm going to show the Rubble Brothers that they can cook a delicious lunch in less than 25 minutes. Yeah, we haven't got much time, yeah? We're going to do a very quick, easy beef stew. Onions, garlic, thyme. Hey, look at the style of this. See the whole the secret behind this dish is one pot. So it's like a one pot wonder, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good man. Right. Simple philosophy, no colour, no flavour. The reason why I've cut them into small chunks like that is to cook it faster. Right. These guys had better get a move on. I am not going to be beaten by a builder with a bum crack big enough to park a bike in. Yeah. Good one, very good. Little smell. <laughs> <laughs> Tablespoon of tomato puree. So creme fraiche just lines up a little bit. That is, that is amazing. It's such, such short time. Amazing how quick it comes together. Yeah. Gary? <laughs> this is where all the hard work's been going on. That one is, yeah. Gary, you've been working hard, my man. Here you go, look. You'd never get this quality food from a takeaway. No. Harry, I can't believe you cooked this, mate. Yeah, I'm going back to my own kitchen now. Oh, but first, right. here. This. That's for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I want it in the back of the van. I want you to use it. Turn it on, get it hot, put your pan on and cook. Yeah. Yes? Definitely. I've always wanted a drum machine. So, <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute beauty. It's not bad, is it? Uh, it is. Unbelievable. Not bad at all. Tornado? It is F3. F3. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. My God. World Air Force finest air defense fighter. The Morning best of the best. Best of the best, yeah. In cooking absolutely. terms, it's three Michelin star. Twice what? the speed of sound. Just over a thousand miles an hour. Yeah. A thousand miles just, an hour. Just about that. Yeah. yeah. You fancy trying it? You wow. Want to go out for a ride? We'll, we'll try and show I you that. I would fucking love to get in that thing. Yeah. I'm the luckiest chef in the world. <laughs> you are. I'm not even in there yet. I've already wet my pants. <laughs> the pilots can experience up to seven times the force of gravity in the F3, so it's vital I wear the right kit. miles an hour. That's 14 miles a minute. Um, that was fun. Kings. I tell you what, Sport of Kings. 
I can't eat a fucking thing here. Uh, I've lost my appetite. I'm starving. Oh, you're starving. I am starving, and you said you're going to cook for me, so... <laughs> fucking hell. They've shown me their skill in the air. Now it's time to get them up to speed in the kitchen. Still feel a little bit faint. What you need is a bit of food, mate. We'll bit of food, yeah. yeah. Lunch. Toast in for you. Toast if you so, want it. I'm, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> now, I'm absolutely amazed, you know. I mean, I'm gobsmacked. On the back of what I've experienced, and, you know, a, a fucking thrill of a lifetime without a shadow of doubt. You can't survive on a toasty. So, with only 25 minutes until their next flight, I'm going to teach them how to cook something that doesn't come between two slices of bread. OK, gentlemen, I feel the need for speed now, yes? <laughs> something very simple, straightforward. Um, it's not timing. And bloody good for you, yeah? A really nice pan-roasted cod with chorizo and a fragrant rice peeler. Sausages in. Fry off the chorizo. It gives a really nice flavour to the cod. A little bit of sherry vinegar. How long to the next flight? Oh, we have to get straight after this. Time to get a move on. OK, so onions in there, that's for the rice. Cardamom, star anise, a couple of cloves, cinnamon stick. The smell of that now is amazing. And for the cod, we're going to be cooking the cod on the skin, OK? A, it's packed with protein and it keeps it nice and intact. You lay it away just to stop splashing yeah, yourself? Yeah, stop exactly yeah. that, yeah. The colour on there now is absolutely perfect, yeah? yeah? This is a bit of a different sort of take on a toasty for the guys Yeah. Now. What do you is. think they'll think? Can you put that in a toasty? Huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> little check on our rice. And we're ready to serve up, guys. Great. Yeah? Now, for me, the most important thing there, of course, was the speed. That was there, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Yeah. Happy? This is Fantastic. Really yeah, absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. Good food, but fast food, yeah? It is, yeah. Yes. Gentlemen, mm. that was a fucking pleasure. Huh? Was. Light, light one. Yeah. Was the same and I'm glad I got my appetite back. Uh, I'd like to say thank you. They're extraordinary. Yeah. Stay off the toasters. Yeah. We'll do. We'll do. Yeah. We'll do. And I'll stay at your cockpit, OK? <laughs> <laughs> I believe everyone has the time to cook. So I've come to spend the day with Sally to show how she can cook delicious and healthy fast food, even with her busy schedule. So, busy mum of four. Very. Yeah? I know how you feel because we've got four kids yes. as well. What are you cooking at the moment for the kids? Um, the odd frozen pizza. Right, well, that's not actually cooking for nuggets. them, is it? Chicken nuggets. <laughs> what are you personally cooking? I'm um, not saying you're a bad mum, you're a busy mum. No, no, mum. no. Yeah, no, no. I know. I, I mean, uh, on the weekend, I will make yep. my roast dinner. Of course I will. When yep. I've got the time and the energy. But Good. otherwise, in the week, it's quick, fast. Convenience. Convenience food. What's, what's next on your list this time? I've got loads of jobs. So you can come and help me, actually. Just loads of different. It's not easy, is it? I've got no, three it's not. See, I've there. got loads of other ones. So the other half of these may yeah, be in there. somewhere in there. My bed's made here. Yes. Yes. Uh, next. So another load going in. This must be on yes. constant, this one. It is yeah. on probably about, I'd say, about three times a day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank I God I cook for a living, you know that. Because when Tana sees yeah. what I've just done, I'm in trouble. Um, just on what I've seen, you know, you are one hell of a busy mum, you know that? Yes. Yeah. And, you know, you've got everything so well coordinated. The only thing you haven't got, Ryan, yes. is the food, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to come up with a dish that will be done in two parts. I'm going to start it, mm -hmm. stop it, go off, pick up the kids, come back and finish it. Perfect. Got right. to go. Got to get the kids in 15 minutes. I've got okay. the boys. So we'll be cooking a fast and delicious leek and smoked haddock risotto. Right. Everyone thinks a risotto is about standing over a pan for 45 minutes. Okay. But with this fast risotto, you parboil the rice and stop for four minutes to speed up the cooking later. The reason why I kept the garlic whole, kids, you know, don't like garlic. All it is is flavoured it. Yeah. So it's a lot easier to take the garlic out. And what type of rice was it? Arborio rice. That basic there is one okay. portion. Haddock. As that comes up to the boil, you just take it off. And okay. it just sits there in its milk. Just turn it off. After four minutes, spread the rice on a tray to cool down. That's really good. Now, if the kids saw that, they wouldn't eat yeah, that. Yeah, no, not in a yeah? million years. But the fact that we flavoured the rice... It's got a bit got of a nice little, they yeah, say. That's exactly what they'll say. <laughs> I don't want twigs in my risotto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to come with you and pick up the kids, Brilliant. just to show you how easy this is. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rosie. That's nice. That's ticklish. <laughs> Next stop, picking up George and Harry, and a chance to meet some of the other mums at the school gates, something I don't get the chance to do every day. 
So, hectic as well in terms of trying to find time to cook in amongst a yes. manic schedule. I've got three children. Yeah. And I have to feed them, and then my husband works really late hours, exactly. so then oh, I have to feed, yeah. Yeah. feed yeah. him again. Like what we yeah. Were saying, yeah. Yeah. So you've got the same problem Sally's so got. Like yeah. You just find it and you're difficult to cook in amongst yeah. of everything else you've got to do. I always thought it was drop them off, pilates, back, glass of wine. But that's what, what my husband says. That. That's then, what my that's husband says. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. But I'm sure we've all got nannies somewhere. Oh, no! So with the kids picked up, it's back to the house. What about homework? I don't like homework. Oh, uh, kick it. And there's only 30 oh. minutes before Sally has to take George to football practice. Time to get cooking. Right, stage two. The rice is part boiled and the haddock's cooked. So this stage is about bringing the ingredients together quickly. I like the fact that I've come in now and I'm halfway yeah. there already. Hello, you just get that. Hello, mate. It's something they're not used to eating, leeks. So I'm going to cut them up really small yeah. so they don't get to see them. <laughs> Where the rice goes in now, a couple of minutes. Hi, oh, dear. What's the matter, darling? Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, dear. We're using the milk that we poached the haddock in earlier for a really flavoursome stock. So what happens after dinner? Swimming, trying to get reading or homework done. So it's still full on, isn't it? It's still oh. full on, probably, till about... It'll be gone 8 o'clock. A spoonful of mascarpone cheese will give a lovely creamy taste that the kids will love. What do you think the kids will think? That is gorgeous. Now, this is the spinach. Now it's going to need about another three or four minutes. Is that all? It's tailor-made for your busy day. Yeah, definitely. Now, huh? this is perfect. Time for the haddock. Dad's on his way home to look after the kids before Sally takes George to football. Time to dish up. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm very well. That's oh. for you, my man. Thank you very much. Susan. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Do you have a good Hello. day? Are you ready for some risotto? Check this out. It this smells it smells, it smells nice, nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Molly, what do you think, my darling? It's so Yummy. brilliant. Nice. Mm. You like it, Harry? Harry. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy. To have something nice and sweet and easy like this is fantastic. I hope you're going to keep it up. Yes, definitely. Promise me. I promise. Yes. Oh. Um, I would seriously stay behind and help you, you know, but to be honest, I think going back to my own restaurant tonight will be a lot easier. <laughs> yes. <laughs>